Hi, my friends. Today, we are very honored for the opportunity of having Dr. Konstantina Stokmakidis as our guest. Dr. Takmakidis is a professor at the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. Dr. Takmakidis followed the systemic path and has been involved in energy therapy since 2000. Since 2005, he has been offering his workshops in Greece and other countries. Good afternoon, Dr. Takmakidis, and thank you so much for joining our forum. Good afternoon, Victoria. And I also thank you for uh, inviting me in this uh, uh, meeting. In our previous conversation, you told me that you met Bert Hellinger almost 20 years ago. Is that an accurate? Yes, that's true. I met it for the first time in 2002 in Athens in a seminar. And uh, uh, she did a constellation for me in that time. And she impressed me. Uh, so I followed him the next years in uh, everywhere in the world, in Slovenia, in Germany, Istanbul, Athens. Wow. <laughs> I'm wondering what brought you to the field of family constellations? How did you get develop this interest in uh, systemic work? Uh, well, uh, I was in a theater group in uh, before 2000 and uh, our teacher invited me in a group therapy with family constellation and the, the facilitator chose me as a representative. And uh, this touched my heart. And then the next day, I sent an email to him and I explained that uh, I could not be the same as I was before this event. So I started uh, training with him for almost seven years because I got my diploma for him in uh, 2007. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it was so you know, impressive uh -huh, for you. But in the meantime, I was participating also in Bert's meetings in 2002-2005 in the International Congress in uh, Germany in Köln, where we were more than 700 participants. And uh, there, Bert uh, has announced that uh, his uh, new vision about the spiritual uh, path of constellation work and uh, then I went to him and I said, I will follow you, I'm with you. And that was happened in 2007 when he announced his first summer camp in Pichel, Austria. And I went there and he came to me straight when I went into the room and said, thank you for coming. And that was a very impressive for me. And uh, I met him also in 2006 in uh, Slovenia, in Bled, and uh, 2007 in Athens, in Istanbul, and 2008 in Pichl, two times, and 2011 in uh, Bad Erachenhol. And <laughs> I feel that uh, he is my best teacher in life. That's, I feel the same way that uh, he is the great, greatest teacher and uh, his everything, those knowledge that he devel uh, de developed and delivered to us uh, students, just uh, absolutely amazing. And uh, this is my probably next question. Uh, uh, we talk about this knowledge, but what exactly is so important uh, what Bert Hellinger offered to us? Uh, how do you understand uh, uh, what, what is his input? What are those orders of love that he uh, opened and uh, explained to us? Yes, I think uh, the main thing that uh, uh, Bert offered to the humanity is uh, that uh, he has uh, brought to light these orders of love. And uh, he teached us that uh, when we respect these orders, then we progress and succeed in life. 
while we don't uh, respect them, even if we ignore them, uh, then we uh, lead uh, to illness, death, and uh, unhappiness. Okay. And these uh, orders of love are, uh, the first one is uh, that uh, those who belong in a group or in a family have the same right to belong. Nobody can exclude them. And if we exclude someone, then everybody in the group, in the family, feels unsafe, uncertain. And uh, the souls of all the members are not in a, a stable position. The second order of love is uh, that uh, each uh, member of uh, the family uh, has a specific position in the hierarchy of the family. So there is a hierarchy. And uh, the, this order says that uh, those that uh, precede, uh, that came before, that precede then those that uh, follow. <laughs> so first are the grandfather and grandmother, and then are the father and mother, and then are the children with their role. And the third order of love is uh, that we have, uh, we must have a balance in the giving and taking. And if we, if we are unbalanced in this, then uh, everything in uh, uh, our life will be in balance. And uh, our uh, relationship, our situations will be, uh, will face uh, difficulties. Yeah, I, I assume that many people would have a lot of questions about what does it mean exclude someone from the family, right? Uh, because uh, I, I believe you also had some people in your group that would ask, okay, if this uh, person uh, is uh, very dangerous, should we keep uh, this person uh, in our family? No, we, we don't want those people that harassed us or violent people in our family. So, uh, and you say everyone has equal rights to belong. Uh, that's some sort of contradiction. <laughs> do, uh, do you know how to explain that exclude, uh, that everyone has equal rights to belong and uh, how it relates to when we, uh, we uh, in real life, um, suffer some uh, violence in family. Yeah. Uh, well, exclusion, it means if we say to someone, we don't want you anymore in the group or in the family. For instance, if a member of the family is alcoholic or goes to drugs and uh, the other family is uh, feels the same for this and they uh, in a way, throw him uh, away from the family. This is an exclusion. And uh, this exclusion occurs when uh, their love does not follow the excluded. If the love follows him, then it may not uh, be excluded. And uh, another case that uh, Bert was teaching us that is uh, exclusion is uh, the unborn child. So if there is an uh, uh, unborn child, then uh, we say to this uh, soul that uh, we are not ready or we don't want uh, you. And uh, then there is an uh, imbalance in the family because another child will represent the unborn child and uh, this uh, child will have uh, some uh, difficult difficulties in his character because he will be himself and the other. And he does this because he wants to receive the love that we didn't give to the unborn one. And if we take this unborn child in our heart, we may give him a name and uh, we have it in mind. Then the, the child that was represented him will be free and we will leave himself. That is, uh, we have to do, we have to 
include everyone that we have excluded in the past. And then we all we feel safe because each one has his right place, as the second order of love says. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for this explanation. Uh, I like this image. Uh, and my next question would be, uh, you spent so much time following Bert Hellinger and studying uh, orders of love and participating in uh, family constellations. How do you feel? Uh, did uh, this work affect your life? For sure. It's time that uh... I participate in a constellation, I became a better version of myself. And this happens to each representative that uh, participates in a constellation. Why? Because we enter in a higher and bigger field, in a greater realm. That is uh, the realm of the spirit, the spirit mind that uh, was uh, the same by Bert Hellinger. And uh, this cannot leave us as we were before enter in this uh, constellation. And I can say to you that uh, in 2008, Bert uh, chose me as a representative in a constellation with a Chinese lady. And uh, uh, well, in this constellation, I observed that uh, my life also was somehow in the same way developed. And uh, this was a very touching effect for myself personally and changed me because in each constellation, a truth comes from the fields that uh, everything is written. And uh, this truth is always uh, having a healing effect to our souls and our spirit. Thank you. You kind of answer my next question because I remember uh, last time you told that if the truth comes to surface, everyone is free. Do you remember you told me that? Yeah. And uh, I completely agree with you, uh, but uh, could you please elaborate on it? What does it mean it makes us free? Yes. Uh, you know, Victoria, because uh, when truth comes in, into light, then uh, our soul understands that we were trapped somehow in our thoughts, in our misunderstanding of the past. And then the, the soul is free and starts a new path, a new way uh, that cannot start it by thinking itself or by the five senses that we have because we cannot observe in the same way that we were observed in the family constellation. Because in a family constellation, we all enter in a, another field that uh, you can understand why, why has happened some things in uh, your life and you can be liberated from what was uh, kept in you, trapped in your thoughts or in your misunderstanding or in your uh, uh, bad feelings about uh, something that was happened in uh, the past. And I have seen it in uh, hundreds of constellations because each year I do around six to 700 constellations all over Greece and abroad. So that's why we have, uh, in each constellation I do, I can observe another phase of love and by observing so many faces of love, then my whole becomes more clear because it's like a puzzle with a thousand of uh, pieces and each piece is a face of love. And when you have put mo more pieces, then you can somehow, uh, you can have an idea how, what is the, the image of the whole. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, uh, I can see that. And uh, no. yes, it's like collecting puzzles and, uh, yeah. and how you can see uh, many things very, very differently than before. Uh, and, okay, as we're talking about love, I wanted to ask you about this book, 
rising yes. above and uh, yes, I have it here, but I have it here <laughs> also in Greek. I have translated. You translated uh, that. Uh, yes. What they, inspired you? They, what was so special about this book? Yes, this book is uh, uh, the love of the spirit. In, uh, well, in the, the English title is Rising in Love, but uh, the German title is uh, uh, the, the, uh, the Leben des Geistes. That means the, the love of the spirit. Oh. And uh, I kept also the German title because uh, in this book written from Bert Helliger in 2007-2008, Mm -hmm. Where well, in 2007, the first uh, summer camp, I saw Bert with a uh, blue uh, handwriting. And I said to him, What is in there? And he told me, There is whatever you want to learn about family constellation. And I said, The next time in 2008, it was published this book. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, so I asked him to translate it, and he gave me the permission, and I did it. And it is a great book. It's a manual for family constellators, for uh, facilitators. If they want to learn more about family constellation, they have to read it. That's why I translate it into Greek to help my Greek colleagues. It's amazing. and. Uh, uh... Thank you for doing that. Uh, in other words, you spreading this knowledge uh, and uh, now people who cannot speak uh, German or yeah, English, they can read this book. And uh, actually what I like is subtitle. Uh, this is a philosophy of being in English yeah. version, philosophy yeah. of being. So how do people can use orders of love today? Well, uh... In everyday life, they can uh, apply the, the orders of love and they can follow them in order to have a balanced life and uh, a life with, in harmony uh, within themselves and within the other people around them. Because uh, I believe that uh, family constellation brought uh, harmony in uh, our life and gives us uh, the chance to have a better way of living among uh, uh, the other people. When uh, Bert was uh, teaching us in the first summer camp, he said, you, yeah, you, you must have love in your heart to do this work to, as a facilitator, because otherwise, I, you can learn everything that I will tell you. I will not hide anything from you that I have learned or discovered, but you must have love to do family constellation. This was the only, uh, the only precondition that uh, you must have to do uh, family constellation. And also people that come and uh, have some problem, they are sending to us, uh, somehow i i at least i teach them that they feel like this and they say that uh, the love within me brought me to your group because i know that the love within you is the solution to my issue or my problem and then they may say their problem in a few words don't know, they don't have to say in detail everything that they feel or they have passed it's beautiful, uh, beautiful. Uh, it's like uh, uh, people in uh, India, they greet each other, namaste, <laughs> God in me, see God in you, right? Or love in me, love in you brings us together. Uh, and uh, uh, we love to this flow of love to happen. And uh, in my perception, uh, there are many people that do not see this uh, love behind this work. Uh, so thank you for, for explaining that uh, in such a beautiful way. I, I, 
I feel that uh, family constellation works with love. Uh, the field that uh, the whole process is uh, uh, displayed is love, because uh, I feel that uh, using the love of all the participants in uh, the group, then there is a, let's say, a cloud of love mm -hmm. that is uh, a, a huge energy. And because love is the lightest uh, energy on earth, it can uh, lift our understanding in another realm. There, when we reach this uh, field, there are no borders in between one another. There is no border between me and you. We are just flowing love from one to the other. That's why the participants, they, when uh, they uh, stand, they are straightly connected to the person or the situation that they present, and they are starting uh, moving or feeling or doing what the person does that they represent. And this is how the constellation work. From their movements, their feelings, we understand what was wrong in the past, what was misunderstood in the past, and then we process and say some healing words, words that the spirit mind give to us, and everything comes in, the, in its right place. And this is the, the greatness of family constellation that brings everything to the right place. And also it puts love flowing among us again, like it should be. So should people receive this knowledge? Should we spread this knowledge? Um, we have to do this because if we, <laughs> Bert Helliger in 2008, when he gave us our diplomas, he said, this is a knowledge with a expiration date. When you go, there is a, it has been expired. So you have to develop and uh, you must uh, disseminate this knowledge among the people you know or the people you don't know you will, you will meet. And uh, that's why I have a, a group of uh, that I, I teach them how to do the constellation work. And uh, also we have uh, made an organization now, an institute here in Greece for all the facilitators. And we have uh, every year a, a workshop and uh, we invite people to speak and uh, uh, tell the developments or the, the things that they have uh, discovered doing constellation work and because it's a living method. You know, when uh, from 2006 till 2008 December, I was showing birth every six months almost. So when uh, in 2008, I went to him because each time we show him, he shows us something more, something new. So, yeah. And then I ask him, where, where are you going? What do you do? <laughs> Every time you have something new, you develop the... And he said, Costas, this is a living method. And while life is proceed, this method also proceed. We cannot stop it. Yeah, and I love it. Developed. Living method. Yeah, living. That's a key word. Awesome. And he said, maybe you will develop it further than me when I go. I will not be with you. <laughs> That's well, it. his well, uh, thought. Uh huh. So if people want to find you, if if people want to attend your workshop seminars, uh, they should go on your website, right? We have it right uh, underneath of this video. Uh, well, uh, my website now is under construction, but uh, I think uh, soon it will be online. I just have now a page on the Facebook, uh, Heal for You, and 
Okay, I, I at least done. people can email you and ask, right, about uh, upcoming uh, events. Uh, yes, it's of course. Very interesting, and uh, I assume that everyone would like to experience love and this living uh, method in action. It's a beautiful uh, comparison. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I know that you're spreading uh, this knowledge, and I also know that you wrote another book, not just translated Hellinger's book, but you wrote your own yeah. book. Would you like to say a couple of words about your book? Thank you for mentioning the Victoria. This is uh, my second book, and in, in the Greek, the title is "Me Too," and uh, the subtitle is uh, "Learning for Love from Bert Hellinger." And uh, it's just uh, the notes that I kept when I was following uh, Bert's seminars, and uh, this is the the first one, and the second is now in the editor, and will. Uh, uh, be edited next or uh, then November or December, I think uh, it will be in into wow. Greek. Awesome. But, uh, I have written a, another book also that is very inspired. In this when I will uh, it will be the third uh, book of of me, uh -huh. and this will be translated into Greek because it's a kind of uh, new knowledge in a family constellation, it, in spiritual family constellation. Well, I'm looking forward to these books and I hope uh, um, you will translate them in English too, so uh, I can read it. <laughs> yeah, of course. I would love, I would love to read your books um, yeah. and attend your workshops too. Um, okay. At the end of our conversation, I would like, uh, I don't know, I would like uh, you to offer some words of wisdom to our audience, um, some ideas, some, some recommendations, some advice, uh, um, why they should look at family constellations and try family constellations, probably. You know, Victoria, some people are afraid of family constellation because uh, <laughs> They have uh, come to my group and they have observed that uh, something can be revealed and then uh, they are afraid that they will not be able to manage what will be revealed. But uh, you know something, then uh, they live in their misery because uh, family constellation liberates us from everything that has uh, uh, put it in my bag in the past because we carry many things and we carry differences and fights and uh, angerness and uh, uh, envies, everything that uh, it's very heavy for us to proceed in our life and thrive in our life. And family constellation can liberate us, make us free make us very light and we can it can bring us to the light <laughs> because uh, you know uh, i have seen uh, those years i do family constellation more than 16 years now uh, many lives of people change uh, in a way that uh, was uh, much more better before coming to the family constellation. Uh, and uh, some of those changes are really miraculous. Nobody can explain how it worked, how it happened. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I don't know, I, me even, I don't know, but I, I have seen many, many miraculous uh, things in a family constellation. That's why I am devoted, I'm uh, uh, deliberate in uh, doing this work and I love it. And also it has been developed myself as a person, as a, a husband, as a fat parent, as a grandparent. <laughs> uh, you know, my grandchildren, mm -hmm. they love me more than all other, the other grandpa. <laughs> 
That's awesome. I don't know if they feel something or they see something, but I think that the family constellation has does this to my life. And I fully recommend it to everyone if he wants to have a better life, if he wants to have more freedom, more love, more harmony in his relationships. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, sharing your experience with us. Thank you for sharing words of wisdom for translation, Hellinger books, and uh, writing about family constellations. Uh, I hope we will continue our conversation in the near future. Probably we will discuss some specific topics and or specific order of love. Uh, uh, but uh, today, I, I believe that for many people, it's obvious that family constellations uh, have value for many, and uh, it makes big or huge sense for, for people at least be familiar with uh, work of family constellation and orders of love. So thank yeah. you again uh, and see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, thank you, Victoria. See you next time. Bye.